Hello everyone and welcome to a new different sort of video and to future Andrew if you're watching this sorry you're in this, sorry that you're in this situation but um yeah hope you're okay I'm sending you a hug okay so yes you've read the title right uh it's a video to a future heartbroken me and it was actually a video that I got inspired to make after I received a really beautiful letter in the post the other day um from a very special person to me now and it just reminded me of something that I've always believed and I'm trying to always implement is that friendships are so, so important. And one thing I don't really like is that a lot of the time in films, mainstream media, the kind of culmination of a connection between two people is them getting into a relationship. Like that's the peak of, you know, their connection together. And I actually kind of disagree with that. I don't think that we should value romantic love over platonic love, but I think it's very easy to fall into that trap. So, for example, I am the first one to call myself a hopeless romantic. You know, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I love Call Me By Your Name. Um, I love romance films. I love romance books. Anything like that, you know, I probably love it. <laughs> and I think that that's great. You know, I think it's really great that we can romanticise that part of our lives, that we can romanticise, you know, the idea of having a soulmate and falling in love. But one thing that I think that we definitely lack, well, one thing that we definitely don't romanticise enough are our friendships. And so I've got a little plan for this video. Um, and essentially I wrote down that I accept that the nature of a uh, relationship and the nature of a friendship can be different. You know, obviously there are things that are different about a relationship and a friendship. I don't actually think that they are that different. Um, and so I actually wrote down here that you can definitely platonically fall in love with somebody and that journey can be just as satisfying as a romantic connection um and yeah i kind of found within my like something that i did is that i would definitely romanticize a lot any experiences you know kind of in the romantic sector it would be if i went on a date and um a guy gave me a compliment i'd be like oh my goodness he gave me a compliment and you know it was gorgeous and the stars were aligning and everything was perfect um and i would give it a lot more importance than if a friend gave me a compliment and then it kind of led me led me to this way of thinking that, you know, oh my goodness, um, you know, I just put a relationship on a pedestal or the idea of a relationship on a pedestal um, above my friendships without realising that um, I did so. And I think it's actually more common than you'd expect. Um, so yeah, I want to speak about Nell, who wrote me this lovely letter and um, why she inspired this video. So Nell was a really, really uh, special friend of mine. I became friends with her in first year of uni. Um, well... I, I knew her in first year of uni. We weren't necessarily friends, but I think we might have had a class in common or we met at lectures. Um, and yeah, she was really sweet, but we didn't really hang out that much. You know, fresh as like there's meeting loads and loads of people. Um, but I had her number saved on my phone. And second year, one day, I remember very distinctly, actually, I had so much work to do, as is Cambridge, um, as is life at Cambridge. And I walked out of the Sidgwick lecture block. And basically, I might insert a photo here. Um, but there's like a lecture block kind of like in a U shape and there's a bit of grass in the middle and everyone's just kind of going about their business rushing from place to place and now is in the middle of the grass just lying there just looking up at the sky and she, she says to me she's like come over here and so I come over and she's like come on you look stressed talk me through what's happening and I said oh, I've got this essay for this Spanish paper and you know I've got to get this vocabulary for this French paper and you know I've got this translation to do and I just don't know what to do and she was like okay take a deep breath and we just spent 10 minutes talking and she was like okay what's the first thing you need to do and how important is it if you don't get it done, can you do maybe an essay plan? Is it an essay? And she just talked me through everything. And it made me feel so calm because I just wanted to be productive and I wanted to get everything done. And I was going from place to place to place to place to place without taking a second to breathe. And that was in second year. So this was the first time that we properly kind of actually had a conversation, especially a meaningful conversation. And from there, we basically started just kind of having coffee dates um, and hanging out and, you know, cooking food together. And... Whenever we talk about this, whenever I talk about this with Mel, we're like, oh, that's when we fell in love. We didn't fall in love, you know, we're not dating not in a romantic way, but that's when we fell in love. That's when I had, like, a platonic coup de foudre for, for her, like a, a platonic crush. Um, yeah, and then eventually she became my plus one to, um, like, cheerleading events. Um, and, yeah, she would hang out at John's with me. I didn't actually go to her college. I'm sorry, Girton is a long, far away. <laughs> is a long way away. Um, but, yeah, and that was just such an incredible 
experience. And I thought, you know, somebody who is writing such really, really sweet things to me, I've got some things, parts from this letter that I wanted to read actually. Um, and it just made me realize when I got this incredible letter, I thought if I received this from a guy, I would literally be like, oh my goodness, it's the love of my life. Like literally soulmate um, who's written this to me. And I thought, you know, the fact I've received these beautiful things written in a letter, um, the fact it's from a friend shouldn't mean any less. Like, we shouldn't say, oh, you know, if uh, a guy does this massive, like, declaration of love for me, it it's incredible and wonderful. Or, like, member of the preferred sex, obviously. If there's, like, someone, you know, who I'm interested in romantically does this declaration of love for me, that's incredible and wonderful. But, you know, if a friend does it, it's like, oh, whatever, they're my friend. Like, you know, they're going to say I look cute. They're going to say this. Like, yeah, I'll read the quotes what she said um, to, to give it more context. So the first thing that I wanted to share was she said, um, I'm so proud of you in so many ways. How you were reflecting, questioning, challenging, adventuring, loving. Which, oh, it's just so poetic. I'm like, I'm literally melting again reading it. Um, and she said, <laughs> I can't actually read her handwriting. <laughs> So context for this letter is she was watching my YouTube videos and she said she felt inspired um, to write to me uh, because of that. She wrote, I miss you deeply. The way we slot into one another so seamlessly. Our energies match and our love flows. Which is like, ugh, it's just so gorgeous. Like it's such a wonderful thing to say. And I literally, I was reading this, like when I was reading this in my bed, I was literally like, I couldn't contain myself. Like this happens quite a lot when I get strong emotions. I don't know what it, if it's anything to do with the fact I have ADHD, maybe. Um, but like, I just can't like, I'm fidgeting or like I'm the grabbing, just kind of, I can't, con like, at least she can't sit still. Um, and I was literally reading this in my bed and I was literally just like shaking and it was, yeah, it was really, really gorgeous. And the end of the letter, which literally now I'm so in love with you. Um, she said, peaches from Poland now, which if you've watched my first um, video of me visiting the set of Queen Boya Name, there's a bit when I'm getting upset because I'm at the station where the Oliver and Elio said their final goodbye. And basically there's somebody who wrote Peaches from Russia in, like they wrote it in the dust on the door um, at the station. And it was such a small detail. And I was like, she's not even only watched these videos. She's been so like really attentive to what I'm saying. And these three things I just thought, kind of comes back to the main idea that I thought, you know, if a guy said this to me, I would literally be like swooning head over heels. So why should this carry any less weight just because a friend said it to me? So yeah, I've written here, the title is Romanticizing Friendships. Um, and I've had several experiences like this where I've had really interesting conversations um, with people. People have said really sweet things, something really nice has happened. And I'm just trying to catch myself and be like, you know, appreciate this moment. This is a really nice thing. Um, and so many of the things that happen from a friendship, like from a relationship, can also come from a friendship. Um, so for example, I wrote, you know, you can stargaze, talk all night, watch movies, stay up till 4am on FaceTime with friends. And if you actually take a step back from some of your famous romance movies and think about the things that happen to them, um, I don't know, maybe they're like dancing in the rain. Maybe they go to a field in the countryside and sit and go and read together. They, do, they have a picnic in the middle of summer. Things like this. You can also have these incredible, really fulfilling experiences with friends. Um, so I had another experience where I was speaking with um, one of my, like a member of my family about um, some nerdy linguistics things. And we were just really getting on and I really felt like he was on the same wavelength as me. And I was just thinking like, you know, if this was in a different context, if it was in like a romantic context, I would just be like, oh my goodness, we're so the same, like, um, yeah, I don't know, I just romanticise it a lot more, so I'm like, actually, you know, I should romanticise every aspect of my life, you know, it's really cool that with this family member, I can speak about something that is re I'm really passionate about, and I think that a lot of the times, maybe a relationship can just bring you comfort, like, you're speaking to that person every day, and you know they're there for you, so a message to future heartbroken Andrew, um, sorry you got your heartbroken again, but also remember that no matter your, like, relationship status, you've always got this person there for you who you can message and that's never going to change and i think that's also potentially more powerful than a relationship because with a relationship if it doesn't work out there it can be it's normally finite like there's an end point and so finally just to summarize i put stop putting a relationship on a pedestal when you can have so many of these experiences in a non-romantic context think about maybe experiences you've had with um, a boyfriend or girlfriend or you know partner those experiences might have been really special and that's really, really great. But quite a lot of the time, you could have also had those experiences with 
someone in a non-romantic context like i'm going to bali with lauren and that's literally vacation <laughs> um but it's just gonna be so much fun and i'm just so excited for that trip and i think that i'm romanticizing it just as much as i would have and i'm excited for it and it's i've got this idea in my head that is just as good as if i was going with the love of my life so yeah uh this video was basically just to say to myself andrew you're a complete human by yourself you don't need anyone else to complete you and your friends have always got your back and just be grateful for them be grateful that you can have these incredible wonderful experiences with them that you can speak to them about what upsets you and i'm not saying that a friendship and a relationship are the exact same but um friends are pretty damn good so yeah Mwah.